Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It's Friday, the 12th day of June. Today is National Red Rose Day. Look what I got over for you there. Oh, no, I didn't. No. Do you want me to get you some red roses? No. I will. I'll put them right over there where I pointed. No, I'm good. You sure? I'm sure. It's National Jerky Day. Ooh. (laughs) You know what you could get me. No. (laughs) No? I love jerky. It's also National Peanut Butter Cookie Day. Ooh, I love those too. What a those day. Those I could do for you. And National Loving Day. And that's all I really need from you is your love. Oh. She's my wife, so I can say that. Uh, you know, every once in a while, we have to mention that because we have people who tune in who maybe don't know that we're married. And some of the things that we say might seem quite inappropriate if we weren't married. But not in a bad way. But, you know, it's like me saying I want your love and I don't want your peanut butter cookies, you know. <laughs> I'll take the peanut butter cookies, too, and the jerky. Uh, Today is a Friday. We have a guest today. We have Duff Goldman. Uh, He and his Charm City cake team decorate all kinds of cool cakes for a new season of Duff Takes the Cake. Just started up on Monday on Food Network. Another whole season. We're going to chat all about it in a bit. Many people have dabbled in the stock market for their very first time ever this year. If you're new to the market, but you don't want to learn things the hard way and the expensive way, I encourage you to subscribe to this free newsletter. You can get the inside track with Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com. Subscribe for free. If you change your mind, just unsubscribe. Sign up for free right now at marketbeatminute.com. That's marketbeatminute.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. A survey from the Sleep Standards Foundation found that 87% of Americans had strange dreams during the coronavirus lockdowns. I have friends that we're talking about all the time, so it's not like it's. And her strange dreams always incorporate like a B-level celebrity for some reason. It's like you're never going to believe what I dreamt last (laughs) night. Just talking about somebody like Billy Mays was doing. I'm like, who? The guy from those uh, (laughs) Shamwall commercials or whatever. Like, what was he doing in your dream? I don't know. Trying to sell me some widget. Uh, She always has just the and there is the most random, very filled with detail, bizarre dreams. (laughs) But uh, if you had bizarre dreams lately, I guess join the club. Thanks for listening to surveys and studies and such brought to you by bettercreditcards.com some credit cards have really high rates or big annual fees usually people sign up for these when it's all they qualify for if that sounds like you it may be time to get a better credit card over time your situation changes and you may qualify for a better credit card your current card hopes you don't think about it but our site shows you many options to see if there's a better credit card for you check it out for free at bettercreditcards.com that's bettercreditcards.com this is your brain on drugs comes your way courtesy of time for rehab.com a jackson county michigan department of transportation truck was heavily damaged when a naked woman broke in stole the truck and then hit a deer with it officers got a call about the crash near home at about 1 a.m may 20th is when this all happened they found a heavily damaged vehicle that belonged to the department of transportation they found a dead deer and they found a woman wearing nothing but an orange safety vest Oh, my. That she had gotten out of the truck. 31-year-old woman said that she was with somebody earlier that night. They booted her out of the vehicle, left her on the side of the road. They suspect drugs and maybe even prostitution involved. Uh, Anyway, she was taken to the Henry Ford Allegiance Health, checked out for injuries, had to go undergo a mental evaluation, and then she was submitted to the prosecutor's office. So got herself in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, what a mess. That is, yeah, it's the kind of thing, though, that happens when your brain is on drugs. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Elmer Fudd, everybody already probably saw this online, but Elmer Fudd has been stripped of his rifle in the new Looney Tunes cartoons. i got to tell you this. I didn't even know they were still doing those. Did no, you know that? I didn't that? know they were still doing no clue. them either. People, you never see them anywhere. They say people were worried that having the gun would send the wrong message to kids. Now, Looney Tunes writers are pushing back against a bunch of complaints. I guess they've been flooded with complaints. Oh, sure. Saying, why would Elmer Fudd, a hunter, no longer have a gun? Exactly. It's ridiculous. And there are people saying, here's the thing. That is an opportunity to have a conversation with your children about this. Gun safety. You know. So, again, it was pointed out online that Elmer was never the safest person to have a gun anyway. So, 
you know, well, of course he, had he wasn't, some, but that was the the he had joke some of it. mishaps, we'll say, over the years. Um, and if you'd like to read all the details, I have a couple of story stories there linked in the show notes. And James Bond is a dad to be, according to the Daily Mail. They've confirmed James Bond will be the father of a five year old girl in his newest film. Oh, so interesting. all of the Bond girls over the years, apparently, one of them finally snagged him, and you know, now he's got a he's got a little uh, bundle of Bond. Coming. Little so, bundle of bonds. Apparently. Thanks for listening to Big Screen, Little Screen on the John and Heidi Show. We're here to make it better. If you find that drug or alcohol problems are hitting you too close to home, you can get help. Maybe it's time for rehab. Your insurance may even cover everything. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. Get help for a drug or alcohol problem within 24 hours. We're here to make it better. Get more information at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now your scoop of the day. It comes your way courtesy of insurancechicken.com. A video has gone viral of an Arizona Karen, in quotes, Arizona Karen, sure, uh, who was slapped in the face after telling a female shopper that was in the same store to, quote, go back to Mexico, and she got uh, smacked right in the face. Yeah. So yeah, that was not a good plan. Um, supermodel Bar Raphael E. I don't know if I'm saying any of that. You know who I'm talking about? No. I can't keep up with all these supermodels. <laughs> Are they Marvel or DC? Super, super, super oh, model. that's superheroes. Okay, yeah, supermodel. Yeah. She signed a plea deal to perform nine months of community service for tax evasion. So she's not that super, apparently. <laughs> Author Bill Buford is retracting his claim that celebrity uh, chef Daniel Boulod used food coloring to enhance the color of his pasta. Wait a minute. Wait, what? Okay, so what? <laughs> oh, his pasta only looks good because he uses food oh, coloring. <laughs> he retracted that comment. He's like, I take that back. I take back all of my terrible fo- food-related <sighs> Food coloring claims. Aren't there more important things I we don't can know. worry about? Yeah, pro- you know what? Let's move on to something much more important, like Elton John's ex-girlfriend. Okay. Yeah, from 1968. Okay. She's in the news because Elton John, it's his former fiance, by the way, Linda Hannon. Back in 1968, they dated back when he went by his real name, Reginald Dwight. Mm-hmm. So uh, he was Reg Dwight back then. And uh, those two dated back way back in the day, 1968. Now... Her knee needed to be replaced, and he said, I'm going to cover that for you. I'm going to pay for that. Oh, isn't that nice? So that's really cool. So he's paying for the knee replacement for his former fiance from 1968. Must have been a good breakup. That's really good. Video of a British Back to the Future fan who rode a hoverboard alongside a DeLorean to recreate the iconic movie scene has gone viral. Have you seen this? I have not. Um, I actually have a photo of me standing next to a DeLorean time machine on a hoverboard. And I'm floating in the air. And I'm not very good at it. <laughs> the way they did it, they had this little thing that they slid under the DeLorean. And it held the... Oh. And then you just stand on it. And they take your photo. Okay. And I look like an idiot. So <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's not, uh, that's not really working for me. I don't think I saw that photo. You've never seen that photo? I don't think so. Well, I'll have to find that now. And uh, fitness influencer Tammy Hembro says her clips are, ke- are getting deleted from TikTok. Like she'll do a TikTok video and then post it, okay. and they're saying it's because she's not wearing enough clothing. Well, then maybe wear so, some more clothing. I don't know what the rules are. I don't know how any of this stuff works, but she's a fitness influencer. She's trying to show off the bob that she's like, hey, if you want to look like me, do what I'm doing or whatever. You'll notice I'm not a fitness influencer. <laughs> Nobody it's never would, been an issue for us. So. Nobody would subscribe to that channel. <laughs> Even I would. And one last story. Cardi B surprised her daughter, Culture, Culture with a K, by the way, with a surprise shopping spree at Target. That's kind of cool. You know, if you're going to do something fun. And I bet the kiddo was probably pretty thrilled to be able to go do something like that. So I don't know if they had, like, the Target all to themselves. I have no idea. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Do you pay too much for insurance? Have you looked around? Or are you too chicken? Don't be afraid to look around to see if you can find a better deal at insurancechicken.com. We make it super simple for you to see rates from several different companies, to see what they have to offer, all in one place. Heck out great insurance deals at insurancechicken.com. Is it time for you to cross the road? See if we can save you money each month at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. We've got Duff joining us right now from Duff Takes the Cake, and it just returned to the
to the Food Network. How you doing, sir? I'm doing really good. How you guys doing out there? Uh, fantastic. Now, this this program has been on for how how long now? How long have you had Duff Takes the Cake on television now? Uh, this will be our second season. And this is something that you've been doing for a long time, though, isn't it? Yeah. So, Duff Takes the Cake, uh, I don't know if you guys remember Ace of Cakes, but Duff Takes the Cake is basically the same show. It's me and a bunch of weirdos, and we're in a big room, and we're making wild cakes for people. And, you know, hilarity ensues. You know, it's like, you know, the cakes, sometimes they fall apart. We got to deliver them crazy. We have one cake that we make for a whale watching society. Oh, wow. And the cake is, yeah, it's this giant whale that's like suspended over a base. It's crazy. And we have to deliver it um, to a boat. And we have to get it on the boat and then bring the, the whale cake out to where the whales are, and uh, then we all have cake and we watch whales. And it's like, I don't know, I don't know how, like, have you ever been on a boat there in South Dakota? I don't know, there's not a lot of boats. I've been on a boat, and it doesn't seem like it would be a a really steady way to, uh, you know, deliver a cake. That seems like it would be a bit difficult. No, it's awful. It's absolutely awful. Man, we have one cake that we made that was actually looked like a boat. It was um, the uh, Queen Mary that is docked in Long Beach uh, in, in Southern California, and we delivered this cake to the Scott Festival. You know what that is? No. What is that? Okay, so the Scott Festival, it's basically it's just uh, celebrating all things Scotland, like haggis and tilts and stuff like that, and whiskey. And uh, part of the Scott Festival is the Highland Games, who basically, like, humongous, sweaty dudes, and ladies are like throwing heavy things. So there's one event where you got to throw an empty keg of beer. Uh, there's an event where you have to throw a rock. There's another event where you have to throw a tree. Wow! And so I got to do the uh, the keg toss event, and I got to do the rock throwing event. And I actually didn't do that bad. Nice. I feel like I could I could like pass as a Scotsman. That's awesome. Now, let's talk a little more about the program that you guys are doing right now, because I'm, I'm very interested in, in Duff Takes the Cake, because this program, you guys uh, have a very short deadline to get things done, and then you're also helping businesses in the process, too, right? Yeah, so like what we're doing is like working with different organizations that we think are doing something cool. For example, like you know, we love robotics, right? You know, We're always putting motors and lasers and cool stuff in our cakes. And um, there is a, uh, a huge high school robotics organization where they, there are teams of high school kids all over the world that are building from scratch insane robots, like really, really insane stuff. And so um, uh, Mark Hamill, uh, you know, uh, Luke Skywalker, uh, actually asked us to make a cake for this organization that was having a huge event in Southern California. So we got to make a, a robot cake for these kids. And, like, you know, I feel like I'm pretty good at robotics, you know, like I'm good at motors and, you know, putting stuff together. And, you know, my, my uh, partner Jeff is really good at engineering. And, like, we got to this event where, like, all these high school kids were doing it. And, like, their robots, like, to say they put ours to shame is an understatement. Like, it's <laughs> amazing what these kids are doing. <laughs> They're really... Like, I mean, these, like, their robots are, like, you know, controlled by computers and programs and they're writing software and they're laser guided. So, like, these robots are, like, you know, they, like, it's just, it's wild when you see what these kids are doing. And then you're, like, you see, like, our cake is really cool. It's neat. Um, but, like, you put it next to, like, these, these kids' robots. It's like, oh, maybe I should have paid attention in robot class. There you go. See, and I didn't even have robot class, so I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, Duff yeah. takes the cake. We Re- just returned again. If if people would like to watch this Monday nights, is that right? Monday nights, ten o'clock, Food Network. Duff, thank you again for taking the time to chat, and thanks for doing what you're doing to help all these organizations around the country too. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. And Good and uh, in addition to helping, you guys make it look fun, which that right there is a really cool thing to do something good and make it entertaining and fun. That's that's a perfect combination. That's a perfect recipe, you might say. Yeah, yeah gotta have fun right i mean what's the point absolutely again duff takes the cake monday nights on food network all the information in the show notes for today at john and heidi show.com 
Many people have dabbled in the stock market for their very first time ever this year. If you're new to the market, but you don't want to learn things the hard way and the expensive way, I encourage you to subscribe to this free newsletter. You can get the inside track with Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com. Subscribe for free. If you change your mind, just unsubscribe. Sign up for free right now at marketbeatminute.com. That's marketbeatminute.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? There's a reason there's a hole in your pen cap. You know, like uh, if you're writing on a pen, I'm going to see. Oh, the the lid. Yeah, the lid that you pull off. There's a reason. There's always a hole in that because it is a choking hazard without it. So, in addition, people are always chewing on them. From the site, it says, in addition to help prevent the pen from leaking, all of our big caps comply with international uh, safety standards. To attempt to minimize the risk of child accidentally inhaling a pen cap. Some of these... Not only vi- just children. Yeah. Well, I'm just reading what it says here. Uh, some of these are vented caps. Others have a little hole in the top to comply with the existing safety standards. And that is according to the BIC Pen Company on their website. So there you go. So if you see the little hole on there and you've ever wondered, what is that for? Well, that's in case that's you get it stuck for. in your throat. You'll still be able to get air through it sure. until you can, you know, get it retrieved. So there you go. Today's fun fact. Some credit cards have really high rates or big annual fees. Usually, people sign up for these when it's all they qualify for. If that sounds like you, it may be time to get a better credit card. Over time, your situation changes and you may qualify for a better credit card. Your current card hopes you don't think about it, but our site shows you many options to see if there's a better credit card for you. Check it out for free at bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Time now for a news headline from somewhere in this world. Uh, Dateline Russia. As we head to Russia, we find a story about a housewife who stopped an intruder. An intruder broke into her house, and she didn't have a gun. She didn't have a baseball bat. What she did instead is she knocked him to the ground and sat on him until her daughter got home an hour later. An hour later, daughter gets home, and then they were able to call for police. Uh, she, by the way, it says in the story, she was 266 pounds. Wow. And she was able to hold this guy to the ground for an hour. He was treated for swollen and bruised limbs. Wow. So, and she just kept clobbering him and leaving him, you know, you're not going anywhere, mister. So, that was, I think it's kind of cool. I what they talked about in that amount of I don't know. time. I don't know. I suppose she got to know him. And So, uh, where are you, where are you from? <laughs> You're going to be going to jail. You know that, right? What is it you're looking for? Because yeah, well, I mean, you couldn't just sit there in silence. It would have know. to be super awkward. It would be very awkward. <laughs> Thanks for listening to a news headline from somewhere in this world. We're here to make it better. If you find that drug or alcohol problems are hitting you too close to home, you can get help. Maybe it's time for rehab. Your insurance may even cover everything. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. Get help for a drug or alcohol problem within 24 hours. We're here to make it better. Get more information at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. A woman in England whose sister wants to name her newborn baby after her favorite food has been slammed by parents online who say the baby would be bullied. The woman explained that her sister who's in her third trimester, is, quote, ready to pop any day now, end quote, and finally revealed her choice of baby name after keeping it a secret the entire pregnancy. That's when the sister shared the name online, and she everybody thought she was joking at first, but the mom-to-be was like, no, that's the name. I want to name her Portabella, like the mushroom. And she says, yes, yeah, she did give me permission to share it here. At first, people thought it was a joke. But they're like, no, she's going to call her Bella for short, and people online are going crazy. Now, there's nothing wrong with the name Bella. A lot of people no, go with that. a lot of people are named Bella. But if you're going to name Maybe your daughter. Maybe just name her Bella. Or Bella. Yeah, if you're going to call her Bella anyways. I don't know. It's, you know. I, I believe, isn't England one of the places where the courts can step in and say, no, 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 no. Could be. I don't know. There's some places. But Bella, beautiful name. Portabella, I don't know. A little different. Thanks for listening to today's Weird News. 
Now your moment of duh. Brought to you by insurancechicken.com. Police reported that a Connecticut woman allegedly spit in the face of a fellow shopper. This is a bad idea. Why do this? Why, what, what is wrong with people? So the victim violated a social distancing guideline, was going the wrong way in a one-way aisle, according to the police. That's when 40-year-old Sandy Hook resident confronted the male victim. Lord. She confronted the victim as part of the SOAR's measures of the one-way aisles. And uh, she was saying that you're doing this wrong upon spotting the man going the wrong direction. She felt it was necessary to tell him to turn around. According to the arrest summary, during the argument, she spit in his face. She was arrested for breach of peace and is due in court in July. So you don't do that. Mind your own business, Yeah, and you know... (sighs) I always go the wrong way, just because I can. Yeah, she does because she doesn't like to follow rules. Don't so, tell me what to do. Why don't you calm down over there? <laughs> you just take a breath over there. But, uh, and it would, would not end well for you. Would, but you I'm saying, would you, would you spit in someone's face? No. Never. Don't do that. That's a bad idea. But that's why it is today's Moment of Duh. Do you pay too much for insurance? Have you looked around? Or are you too chicken? Don't be afraid to look around to see if you can find a better deal at insurancechicken.com. We make it super simple for you to see rates from several different companies, to see what they have to offer, all in one place. Heck out great insurance deals at insurancechicken.com. Is it time for you to cross the road? See if we can save you money each month at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for fake news or Florida. Heidi, tell me, is this a true story (laughs) from the great state of Florida or is it fake news made up to trick you and amuse me? All right. Did you notice I didn't say hashtag? I did. Ah, I got an email from somebody that says, why do you always say hashtag? (laughs) And then I said it like six more times at yesterday. So I'm not going to say it no more. There we go. Um, A Miami, Florida man. I'm sorry. uh, Fake news or Florida? A Miami, Florida man with no arms was charged with stabbing a Chicago tourist. Fake news or Florida? I'm going to say Florida. It is a true story. That absolutely happened. I've got a link to it if you want to read all about it. Uh, That is today's Fake News or Florida on the John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. It comes your way courtesy of giftcardchallenge.org. And I think this is just a really cool story. An Iceland supermarket adopts all of the penguins at Humboldt at the, the Chester Zoo. The Humboldt penguins at the Chester Zoo. I, I think I said it wrong the first time. All of the Humboldt penguins at Chester Zoo. There we go. Uh, the supermarket Iceland. They adopted all of these. That's uh, a cute idea. It's in Cheshire, England. So the zoo was struggling because numbers were down. People weren't able to go there. So they're like, well, we still have to feed these animals whether we have visitors or well, not. Well, that's great marketing for the grocery yeah. chain. And the name of the chain is Iceland. Yeah, it's which perfect. Is pretty cool. Yeah. So the frozen food retailer agreed to lobby the UK government to let the zoo allow to, mm-hmm. you know, do this. And uh, it says, although the penguins are not from Iceland, the birds epitomize all things frozen, they say, which is why the supermarket agreed that it would be probably the most appropriate way for the zoo yeah. to get, get support from them during a difficult, stressful time. It says, we are all saddened to hear of Chester Zoo's recent struggles. It's the heart of the local community in Chester and a much-loved family favorite. I remember visiting the zoo as a child, and my own kids love going there, said the managing director, and says we're proud to be able to lend them our support, both through the adoption of the penguins and also you know, financially they help them as well. Uh, they gave uh, $2.4 million Whoa. in public donations. That's how much they, they launched a, a Just Giving, kind of like a oh, GoFundMe. Like a GoFundMe. Sure. And that raised that much. So uh, I'm looking to see if it says how much these guys donated. It doesn't say. I don't know. It's probably in here somewhere. So, but yeah, that's, one, that's great marketing. Yeah, Love it's it. really cool. I've got a link to the story, and it's also got the, the FundMe thing if you're interested in that. It, it sounds like things are going to go well for those penguins, and, and everybody can live happily ever after, which is nice. 
which is nice. It's a really nice good news story. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Friday.